Welcome to the first episode of Free Plugin Friday, where each week I look at a free plugin and show you some of the features and play a bit of music with it. Today we're looking at the Tao Chorus from Togu Audio Line. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this chorus. I think it's available on both Mac and Windows in 32-bit and 64-bit in various formats. Oh, I'm using the VST version. Okay, so first off, we'll just go through the controls. You've got volume, which is obvious. Um, is useful if driving some of the wet side does kind of change your volume levels. You've got dry wet. The important thing to notice with chorus is it's a mixture of two signals and how they interact. So if you go to the fully dry side, obviously you've got the dry up until here, and then it becomes more wet than dry. And th in the middle is where you're going to get the most chorus effect. As you get to the wet side, you just you can hear more pitch modulation on that second signal and less kind of how that interacts. Then you've got stereo width, which is self-explanatory and very useful so that it, you know, if you use on basses and things, it doesn't um, spread the signal out too far and lose focus in the middle. And then you've got two uh, chorus buttons. This one is kind of slower, less deep, and chorus two is a little faster and a little little more pitch modulation and you can use them both at the same time which is really cool um, so I'm just going to play this track and then we'll go through what I've done um, with the chorus So the first thing we'll look at is the um, that main guitar line. It's got that real 80s kind of chorus thing going. So I'll pull up the chorus here. I'll just get rid of this one so confusing. Um, and just solo the guitar. So um, I've got it pretty much on the stock setting. Dry width 50% um, with that first chorus on and stereo width on full. So just toggle dry and so dry. <laughs> signaling and you can hear that it kind of definitely widens the signal and gives it that very 80s chorus sound and um, fills out that spectrum a it's kind of boring without it so the next two um, little sections I've got are these rhythmic notes and a riff. So two things here. First off with the I've got the chorus here on both the rhythm and the riff. Triple up. Um but and they're just kind of still in the stock settings. But the main thing that m makes these come out is the modulated delay. So I've got this chorus here on the delay, which I'm using um, Nasty DLA, which is another really good free plugin. Um, so that's on the, like after delay as a send. So that's just kind of modulating that delay. So I'm gonna turn these all off and just show you what those two sound like. So first with the rhythmic notes. back just the rhythmic notes I'll toggle on and off the modulation on that delay and you can hear how that affects it and then I'll bring in the um, chorus on the actual guitar so you can 
hear how much wider those um, delays have got. Now with that, it's almost got a kind of police kind of sound to it going there. And then I'll do the same on the riffs, so I'll unsolo that. Wider again in this one. So both of them together. Now the last um, track I've got here is this guitar swells. So let's play it with everything on. And then, um, so with that, I've got a modulated reverb. So I've got Vintage Verb here on Concert Hall, and then this version of Tau playing on the reverb, as well as Tau here, which is on the actual guitar track. So I turn those off, and you can kind of hear. Which is pretty nice. It's just it's a long reverb tail. And good to mention there's also another delay on that with that off. So I'll turn it off on the delay too. Yeah, there we go. It's much less nice. So first I'm gonna put the chorus on this delay, which the um, guitar spells are feeding. Makes it really lush, and then put it on the modulated reverb. And then on the actual swells. So we're going to bring the track in as kind of intended, so just so you can get a feel how it sound together. So now we're going to look at more of a kind of 90s dance track and you can hear um, this effects on synths and stuff. Okay, so I've got a kind of 90s dance track here. It's pretty cheesy, but um, these sounds kind of lend themselves a bit to that. I mean, it can be used on whatever, you, whatever but it kind of helps with this stuff. So I'm just going to play it for you and then we'll go through it. drums have again got it on everything. The first thing we'll look at is this um, bass line. So 
I'm actually using another free tail plugin called Tail Baseline. And I've got a few things on the um, channel here. But um, I'll just pull this up and we can have a look at this. So, first I'll turn it off just so you can get an idea for the baseline um, sound. It's just kind of based on the SH101 kind of. kind of boring so we'll put this on and without the distortion you can probably hear it better just widens it I don't have to so if I put the stereo width all the way and loses that center so dial it back a bit yeah and that's kind of the bass line so with the drums the kick kind of widens that out a bit. Um, next we'll look at the pad. In the pad I'm just using um, sample tank here with, uh, so this is from the Sonic Synth um, with a couple of strings, real strings and strings from Selena. So without the chorus, they're a bit kind of bland. I mean they're feeding reverb, but Put the chorus on, so this is on the chorus 2 setting. Gets a real kind of 70s string pad sound. And with the bass and kick. So next we're going to look at this lead I've got here. Um, similar thing again. This has actually got both the chorus on this lead from uh, Retrolog. So I've got it here. I've just got a little bit of delay on it. And it's kind of ping pong quarter note stuff with the cutoff down and a big envelope. So uh, without it first. <laughs> really thinks it puts it in a different space. Now the last thing's probably needing it the least really. It's just I've got some white noise here that I've um just using this compressor I've got it side chained to the this trigger kick up the top. Um so if I turn it off, it's just kind of just kind of side change and white noise. With it on, it just adds a bit of width and a bit of modulation sound. Now, you don't necessarily want that, but I'm just showing what it can be used for. Um, so I'll play the whole track and toggle everything on and off just so you hear what difference it makes. Okay, so yeah, that's the tail chorus. Um, it's based off the uh, Roland Juno 60, and uh, Togi Audio Line has another plugin called the um, Tal Uno 60 LX, which is 
uh, $49, I think, which is yeah, based on the Juno 60 synth. Um, and also the baseline um, is $49. Not the one I had. Um, they're from previous free versions, and they've updated them with uh, better quality and 64-bit and I think AAX possibly, at least there's Artaz versions. Um, I'll put the link below. You can check them out. Um, and thanks again.